no longer need to wear masks or physically distance in any setting except where required federal, state, local, tribal, and territorial law rules and regulations, including local businesses and workplaces. Okay, that sounds like a bunch of lawyer stuff, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> basically, you can wear a mask or you don't have to wear a mask. Okay, that's up to you. So um, that's basically what, what we're going to be doing. Okay, is there any other announcements that I forgot about? Okay, very good. All right, well, let's get going. Um, let's start with our prelude and the lighting of the altar candle.
calls us to life in the world, God offers us the chance to explore how to live out God's vision. We are called, we are forgiven, we are blessed. Thanks be to God. Amen. Okay, thank you. You may be seated. And is it good for you, Jenny? Children's Five.
And uh, the ones that Sunday school, VBS, uh, confirmation, uh, it's really been a blessing for me and I, that God has called me to do that. And I just love all these kids. And uh, all of them, you know, that's, that's come even for this vacation Bible school. So, uh, uh, thank you girls for coming. And uh, does anybody have any other praises you would like to lift up this morning? Okay, does anybody have any prayer concerns? Yes. I was... Tyler, my youngest son, and his wife and young daughter have gone to Canada to be in their camps up there to get everything ready and they're hoping there might be some business this year in late July or early August. So otherwise they're there up in the middle of nowhere all by themselves. So just pray that they can get their work done. Have a good time. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's great. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, yes, uh, uh, prayers for Janice Crow. She was in the hospital for some time with some infection, and now she's uh, in a care center recovering. Janice yes. Crow. Janice Crow. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll add her in our prayers. Anything else? Yes, Gordon. Joy in you. 
we continue with our worship and we ask for your Holy Spirit to prepare our hearts and minds as we listen to your words today. We ask all through Jesus Christ our Lord who taught us how to pray. Our Father, belong to the world. 
just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking for you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. Okay, now please join me in our song of response. <laughs> Oh, you are so blessed. 
When a person has acquired a new house, when a person has won or have achieved something, we say that person is so blessed. This is our definition of who a blessed person is. A blessed person is a person who is successful in life. Has a bad bank account, has a lot of money, has a car, sports car, big house, and a happy life. That is a blessed person. If you would read again our text from the Old Testament, you would read how the Bible defines who a blessed man is. Someone. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. From the psalmist, a blessed man is a man who is not wicked, who does stand and agree with the sinners and mockers. A blessed man is a man who does not do evil and wickedness. Psalm chapter 1 verse 2 But who delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Therefore, a blessed man is someone who loves the word of the Lord and reads meditates on God's word every day in the morning and at night. The description tells us that a blessed man is a man who reads, meditates, and follows the word of the Lord. So we see a contrast of definition of who a blessed man is. Blessedness from having material things and blessedness that comes from God. What do these things got to do with you today, graduates? Megan and Lexi. What do these things got to do with us all, the students of life today? We are asked today to think and reflect on what is the blessedness that we are pursuing in life. Are we pursuing the blessedness that the world offers? Or are we pursuing the blessedness that comes from God? Blessedness comes from God to those who Seek to live a righteous life by not standing with the evil doers and not transacting business with those who are mockers and evil doers. Live a righteous life that is governed by the word of God. Live a life that is dictated and guarded by the word of God. That means we have to act dictated by what is right in the sight of God. And our text ends with a promise. In verses 3, we read that person is like a tree planted by, by streams of water, which yields its fruits, it yields its fruits in season and his sleep does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. And in verse 6, For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Those who live who burn by the word of God will prosper. The works of their hands will prosper. Those who seek God prospers because
because all the things that they do, the Lord will bless. Why? Because the Lord will protect them. We live our life dictated by the Word of God. We live righteous lives. The Lord will watch over us. The Lord will protect us. The Lord will take care of us. We are secure. We have the divine protection around us and in all things that we do. It is different for those who do evil and do not honor God and the Word of God. Because for them, their way is the way leading to destruction. So, congratulations, graduates. Today, as you look forward to your graduation ceremony, thank the Lord for the victory He has given to your life. And do not forget that you have stepped one step higher in the ladder of education. And you are ready for bigger responsibilities in life. College life is awaiting you. The world awaits you. Do not desire the blessing of this world. Instead, desire the blessing from God. Choose to be blessed by God and not of this world. Choose to stand and serve God. Choose to desire His blessings and not the blessings of this world. Do not forget to seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Seek the Lord, for if you do, all of these things will be added to you. Kim Kibo is an example a great, a great player of football. He is a God-fearing man. He chose to stand up for God. He chose to honor the word of God. And he chose to believe and serve God. And God honored and blessed him. You too. All of us here. God can bless us. God is very much able to bless us. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, as we journey through life, what blessing do we seek? What blessing do we seek? Is it the blessing of the world or the blessing of God? Blessed is the man who walks with God.
And, and the most important thing is that God's with you, that you know that anytime you're scared or lonely or nervous or whatever, that all you have to do is ask God to build you up and just give me strength, and, um, and he will do that. So and we'll all be thinking of you as these years go on and excited to hear how you're doing. All right. Okay, so we have a gift for you. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that um, Liz Stasekel is also a graduate this year, and she is just coming back from a trip with her family, I think, to Florida, so she wasn't able to be with us. Um, but please, when you see her, tell her congratulations also. I wish that she was here with us. Lexi, this is for you. Megan, this is for you. And um, you don't need to open these yet, but there's a word on this gift, and the word is abide. And abide, it's just a reminder that God's always with you, and abide with you, and that we're praying for you, and that um, just to give you a little comfort and confidence when you, wear, when you wear that. So, all right? Okay. Deb, going to sing a song next? I forget. Liturgy? Oh, sure. All right. Uh, so please join me in the liturgy. Okay. Um, God of truth and knowledge, by your wisdom we are taught in the way and the truth. Bless our graduates as they now finish their course of study. We thank you for those who taught and were beside them and all who supported them along the way. Walk with the graduates as they lead and move forward in life. Take away their anxiety and confusion of purpose. Strengthen their mental talents and skills. Instill in them a confidence in the future you plan, where energies may be gathered up and used for the good of all people. For the graduates, this truly is a day of new beginnings, a time to remember and move on, and a time to believe what love is bringing. May they always know that Christ is alive and goes before us to show and share what love can do. This is the day of new beginnings. Our God is making all things new. to get my nursing degree. 